what up what up this is goobers dudes and uh here on this part of my journey i'm at this beautiful farm visiting this farm with these horses because i've always wanted to hang out with horses and recently over the past several months it's become like this idea in my head like an obsession i don't know where it came from but i was just like horses horses every day i woke up like horses 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 and I was like, you know what? We're gonna make this happen. So, found a farm, an organic little tiny farm out in uh, Boston or Massachusetts. And I've been spending the past few days just fully immersed. Every day I wake up with horses. I go to sleep with horses. I even uh, talk to them. Hello, Emmy. She's my friend. We're good buds. She doesn't bite. And I've just been contemplating on the seduction of nature, the seductive nature of nature. And I spent most of my days here because, well, my laptop was busted, just sunbathing in that beautiful sun, lying down on the grass next to horses every day is how, when I'm not doing farm work, like weeding the buds or feeding the horses and the chickens, I am just lying down on the grass next to them and watching them and just seeing their behaviors. And a part of me was just like, wow, the past week, technically I'm on vacation, but the past week has literally felt like a vacation because I'm doing nothing but just sitting down. And there's something weird about trees and the sun and the grass specifically sun i don't know what it is with me in the sun where if i lie down it feels under the sun on the grass under some trees it feels like the best thing in the world the world <laughs> where i don't feel like doing anything like my dreams don't matter my past doesn't matter all i want to do is just sit here all day and do nothing and i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but it makes me feel that this moment right here is the best thing in the world and there's nothing i'd rather be doing even though it's not productive it's very seducing just i just want to sit in the sun all day all day and just lie down on the grass all day not in my room not sleeping i want to be here in this field with these horses that's it that's all i just want to do i'm gonna just drink lemonade and just do absolutely nothing and it sounds crazy given the ambition that i've had and the tenacity i had to use to get here to even end up on this farm for free i'm crashing at this place for free uh and learning how to ride these horses for free so Yeah, it's, it's strange because I'm like, do I even want any of the other things that I want? Maybe this is just the hypnosis of nature acting on me. Because when I'm in a city, I want to work. But let me tell you, I could sit here all day. And the only reason I'm shooting this video is like, hey, I might as well make capture this moment and look back and be like, remember that time when you didn't want to do anything? but just lie down with horses and uh, sleep under the sun. And I really can't imagine anything better. Like this is not a bad life sure you're not making money but this is pretty incredible it feels so infinite and perfect that you don't want anything else and i see nothing wrong with that okay maybe it's a phase maybe it's not i mean just look how beautiful these horses are look at their manes especially this girl she's a blondie muscular horses Beautiful set of hair. Amy. Amy. Say hi to the folks. Okay, she's busy eating her grass. Or look at this guy. This guy is huge. He's a big bugger. Look at him. He's massive. He just says hello. Goes back, look. He's taller than me for short. That guy's a little tiny guy, but whatever. And... Yeah, I was just 
fully downloading that present energy. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I need this. Maybe I need a little break where I do not. I mean, there's like no stress whatsoever doing this. You're just lying down. You're just like basking in the sun. It feels so good as it's hitting my face right now. It literally just feels like, yes, like, oh, my God. It just feels so good. I just walking around in the morning goes cloudy. Just walking around bathing in the sun. It's so good. It's so juicy. And this pull gravitating towards these sensations that only comes to me under trees and sun and grass and animals. I'm trying to articulate what's going on in my head in these processes. But it's like this most indulgent form of escapism that I can that I have ever experienced. And it's so close that it feels like this, like I'm on drugs, even though I'm totally sober. And I feel like this is something you have to internalize and like download that energy and keep it in you because it's real and it's so accessible. And it is in this moment right here that I truly feel that I've achieved happiness. I actually, in the past year on this journey, I believe that I've achieved happiness. And what I mean is that I've been through so many turbulent experiences and misfortunes and blessings. And, you know, it's just been a roller coaster. And in that period, I've never felt more alive, more happy. Like, I'm actually just happy. Like, despite my circumstances i can't get a job you know i'm low on money uh, i don't have a stable situation i don't know what's going to happen to me i don't know if i'm going to live or die internally i i'm the happiest i've ever been in my life and it's not just these horses these horses are like at the peak of my experience right now uh the past year i've been feeling similar sensations where i'm just like it's winter i'm in this weird looking room it looks like a storage room where it kind of is a storage room and I have nothing but a little heater and I'm sitting my feet next to the heater and like whoa this feels so good like I'm so happy right and it's like I think I've achieved happiness given that I'm no longer that my happiness is no longer determined on external situations or physical environments because if I'm happy in a little storage room and I'm happy under the sun and the grass and happy in different environments. I feel like I've achieved that internal control of my neurochemistry and internal energy state that happiness is nothing I think about. Okay, that, that was a little scary. <laughs> She's running towards me. And that is, as a result, I feel like all I'm missing in my life right now is success. Because success and happiness are two different things. And they don't need to be correlated or put together into the same subject because they're not correlated. You can have success without happiness. And you can have happiness without success. And since I haven't actually achieved success in, in terms of my career and the, at the level that I want, that's some success, but... In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't seem like much. Well, maybe I should give myself more credit. However, I feel like I've been more accomplished in achieving happiness as a default state. Because I've learned that happiness comes as a circumstance of cultivating a great lifestyle. And as a result, you can have it at any time. Okay, You don't need success to be happy. I'm so happy right now and I'm just doing nothing. Like jack shit. So, I feel like I've actually achieved that because it's been over a year and I've been in this constant uh, mild self-induced hypnosis. Sure, I'll have off days. You know, I think we mistake happiness as a constant stream of just never-ending joy. But, no, I, to me, happiness is feeling content and perfection and awesomeness most of the time and it's also happiness is 
not being able to stay depressed for more than a day. <laughs> like if you're depressed for a couple hours a day and then the rest of the day you're great, I think that's happiness. Okay, most people are just miserable for a very long time. And in context to my life, there are times where I went years just feeling miserable as more than 60% of my default day-to-day -day state. Where nowadays, I'm at least 60, maybe even I'd argue up to 70% content and happy with my life 70% of the day. And then the other 30% is like worries and low sums. I might have an off day here and there. But even those off days, uh, they're... They don't last very long. I'm, I bounce back quick. My emotions are just like, it's almost like I can't even, can't even trust my emotions because if I'm feeling bad, I'm like, eh, this is, I've been here and then in a few hours, maybe end of the day, I'm gonna feel good. And typically that's what happens. So I feel like I've been able to cultivate uh, happiness and that is a result of things I do every day and things I don't do every day. That's massive when it's what I do and don't do. That result in me actually just having happy because it's a result of habits and a lifestyle and that lifestyle doesn't have to mean jet skis and yachts and flying private even though those things are great i've learned that for me personally just and i never knew this about myself sitting under the sun surrounded by grass and trees gives me happiness so if i can find times in my day to just do that i feel great my mornings feel great my afternoons amazing if i can spend time with this horse over here this feels great you know what i'm saying so now all i need is success material success uh career success reaching the height of my potential and my skills and having financial freedom having time freedom even though right now i had kind of have time freedom but let's be honest once I leave this farm and run out of money, I'm going to have to uh, work or find ways to make money or do something. Uh, so I'd like that time freedom, that location freedom to be able to have financial resources without having to be in a particular space. So I can continue going to places like this and cultivating even stronger happiness and a better lifestyle. Basically, I think my lifestyle is good. And if I achieved career success, all it would do was is put my happiness on steroids, my happiness lifestyle on steroids. And it took me to today or yesterday to realize that, oh, I've actually accomplished happiness. This is amazing, um, which is pretty good because some people spend their whole life never achieving that and I think that's a solid win a lot of people achieve success and they're miserable and a lot, and I mean look you st I want I need both okay I need both happiness makes you feel like you don't need anything else because you're basically happy but because you're in that good mood I feel like you you have an obligation to put that positive mental and physical resources to contribute and make an everlasting change on your life and on others so that is the next goal is to achieve success without losing the happiness because then it would feel like i didn't achieve anything i was just i just moved from one thing to another um but this is a very important lesson because now i can move forward towards success using this happiness foundation as the framework of look, hey, success, we're gonna have to create systems in place in our life that cultivate success uh, while fitting in the other systems in place that I've cultivated to, to create a happiness lifestyle. So the lifestyle creates the happiness. The success is a result of just work and opportunities. So I need to integrate both of them because they're not correlated okay if you're successful already then just cultivate happiness by producing a lifestyle you enjoy like i said for me it's as simple as sunlight on my face surrounded by grass literally feeling cortisol levels leave my body okay that's all i do today it's more it gives me more happiness than making these videos so 
which is also another passion of mine. Making art, making videos, expressing that creative outlet. One of my passions. But, again, it doesn't have to be correlated to money. Uh, most of the success is going to come through impact and money, if we're being honest, right? Financial success and impact, which you can do with a lot of money. And if you don't have money, but you're able to create impact, that results in money coming in. Regardless, those two things are important. And that's where we are at. This is the June 21st here in Massachusetts. Where will we be in a couple of months from now? I'm not sure, but I'm still waiting for my asylum and probably coming in the interview maybe this month, maybe next month, I don't know. But here we are. I've been in New York, now I'm in Massachusetts, so we will continue on this amazing experience and check in with you next time.